Y'all, as you can see over there, I got laundry to fold. And I don't feel like it. But I've been needing to film this video for a minute, y'all. I ordered this bag, as you can see, the DBI from Dooney. Wow. Nope, actually, it was before we left for vacay, and I knew it was going to come while we were gone. So I actually had it shipped to my sister's house so it could be, you know, safe and secure. Um, and I could just, you know, get it from her when I get back. So we've been back a minute, y'all, and I just ain't filmed it. And I haven't opened it because I've been trying to be patient so I can open it with you guys. So, I'm going to tell y'all a story like Deluxe to be saying. Airbag got a story. So, what had happened was, you guys remember, a little over a year ago, I fell down the Dooney and Burke rabbit hole. I had not carried Dooney since Jazzy was like a baby, baby. Um, and so, I fell down the Dooney rabbit hole. I bought quite a few things. And then the Hydrangea collection came out and I got this Brenna. I showed this in a what had happened was unboxing video. I actually have done a what's in my bag. I think it was a car what's in my bag if I'm not mistaken. I'll try to link that video um, or make it the next video to watch from this video so that you can see it. But I absolutely love this bag. I really do. I love how the two um, side pockets eliminate like a whole pouch if not two pouches or four pouches total because you do have these two large pockets on the side that you can put things in it is a um a top handle bag it can close in the center if you don't have let me turn this if you don't have too many items in it it can close i personally don't like how it looks when it's closed like that i think it looks crazy um that's just me so mine is usually open plus i usually have too much shit in it anyway so i can't never snap it anyway it does come with a three-part strap kind of like the louis vuitton speedy does but i don't like wearing my bags on my hip unless it's a crossbody so i took the third piece off and just wear it as a shoulder bag i haven't carried this cutie in a while however i will say usually when i do a hand carry bag i carry it in my hand briefly for the most part i carry mine on the crook of my left arm nine times out of ten if it's a hand carry bag i carry it on the crook of my left arm i just do i don't know why i just love it over there i think because i'm right-handed and i can go in and out the bag and move stuff around and get what i need right-handed um if it's on my left arm so this bag has a nice booty and can hold a lot of things but because of these two additional um i forget what this shape was called i feel like I, it was in the description but i just can't remember right now i might try and pop it on the screen but i feel like because of the extra um pockets which are gorgeous it makes the top portion of the bag wider than the bottom portion and when it's on the crook of my arm, it's very bulky. I find when I carry it, I do bump into things. Um, this bag has the leather trim all around it. It's got hardware all around it. And I think because I'm used to carrying like Louis Vuitton and coach coated canvas, I didn't realize how much heavier this bag would be, even though it's also not coated canvas, but it's coated, um, this one's coated cotton. Um, and so I just, I don't know. I didn't realize this one be a little heavier. So I haven't been reaching for this bag because it is a little heavier. She's a gorgeous bag. I didn't want to sell her. I didn't plan to sell her. And now she's kind of on the fence of being sold. And this is this way because of the way I have the stuffing and because of the way I used to have her on the shelf. But I know when you stuff your things in there, it'll come right out. As you can see, it just, it smooths itself right out. It's not like a permanent den or anything. But what happened was, um, I love Dooney put the hydrangea stuff on sale and I decided to go ahead and pick up this item so I'm gonna open it with you guys um, I decided to go ahead and pick up this item because I feel like if I'm going to have where's my address okay I feel like if I'm going to have a coated um, cotton bag that's gonna be heavy I would rather be in this silhouette so the plan was let me get my info out the way the plan was get this one, see if I love it, hopefully within the 90 days, and now I'm probably pushing it, um, but I think I'm still good. But get this one, see if I love it, and if I do love it more than the Brenna, I don't see a reason for me to keep both pieces, even though it's the same print, and I do normally buy duplicates sometimes. This isn't one of those times. So the plan is to sell the Brenna, so it may be sold, honestly, by the time I edit this video and put it up, I will probably be able to pop on the screen whether she's for sale and what price I'm gonna do. So if you want to just purchase her directly from me via Cash App or Zelle or PayPal friends and family, you can. Um, or if you're more comfortable, I can do a PayPal invoice with, you know, increase in price um, for doing the invoice. And then, of course, after that, you can find her um, on Macari. That's the the um, 
secondhand market I choose to use. I just find that the Macari app and the navigation is just really easy to use. And so I use Macari more than anything. So she will be posting on Macari if I'm going to sell her. Um, and if I do find that this bag is not my favorite in person. Oh, she's pretty. Um, oops, sorry, y'all. <laughs> if this bag is not my favorite in person or I do decide that I don't want to keep her, then I will send her back and I will actually keep the Brenna instead. So she did come folded up, as you can see. I know some people get really, really upset about that. The fact that I left her in the box for quite a few days, over a week, of course, um, definitely made her dent a little bit stronger so it would definitely take some kind of stuffing and working out she does have a nice butt with feet on the bottom so so far i feel like the tote is better for me i feel like i'm gonna love it more um, it also has the braided strap, which is a detail that I absolutely love. I wish they went up a little bit higher with the braid, but I still love the amount um, of braiding that you get on there. And I love, love, love this pretty color. You don't have to worry about, you know, I mean, you, you get a little bit of patina, but it's not like authentic Louis Vuitton patina that you have to worry about. Let me get this trash out the way. So usually if I don't really think I'm going to keep a bag, I won't take all these things off. But I'm kind of like 80% sure before I even open the box. When I placed the order, I was 80% sure that I was going to be keeping this bag and selling that bag. So I do want to unpack everything and get a really good feel for her. Um, even put some things in her and just see, you know, make sure... I'm making the right decision because I don't want to regret it. I don't really sell a lot of bags. I really don't. I rarely sell my bags because I don't ever want to forget or regret it or, you know, go to reach for it and then remember, oh, shoot, I sold that bag. I don't have it anymore. And then, you know, not be happy about it. So you get your usual, your usual, um, what does Shonda call it? The zip and slip. <laughs> you get your back zipper pocket, which usually isn't as deep or as big. Oh, this one is pretty good size. Um, you get your back slip pocket where I love to put all my goodies. You get your front slip pocket. I really haven't been using those very much, but when I do, I usually slip, slip my cell phone in there. Let me turn this camera a little bit. I'm kind of sitting to the side of it, y'all, and I keep trying to use my leg to prop up the bag, and then I'm out of frame, so I'm sorry. So this one does have the divider in the middle, which I know is not everyone's favorite, but y'all know I am a tote girl. I will carry a tote before anything else, and then second in line is always a hobo. Hand carries or satchels have always been third, and I try not to pack them too heavy so that they're not too heavy. And, um, you know, I try not to have them too big or too bulky. And unfortunately, this is a beautiful bag, but it is very bulky when I carry it and it is very heavy. So I do think I'm going to end up keeping this tote. Now, I'm not going to lie. This one is not light. This does not feel like a Neverfull or a Coach um, City tote or anything like that. You definitely can tell the difference between those bags and this bag, as this bag, as far as it being a heavier bag. I'm gonna slip it on my shoulder real quick, y'all. Let's see. Let me flip this around, see if I can see. So y'all can see too. Sorry, I don't mean to make y'all dizzy, but I figure since I'm sitting on the floor, I can try and put it on. So it's definitely weighted. Um, it's not a light bag. It's definitely going to still be a little bit heavy with my stuff in it, but at least I've got shoulder support versus it being a hand carry. But again, I'm going to put my stuff in it to make sure and make sure I'm making the right decision um, for me. But sorry, I got off track. Let me get back to the inside. Sorry, y'all. Let me flip this so I can see what I'm showing. Okay. So back on the inside, you do have that center zip pocket, which a lot of people don't really care for. I don't really, I'm not going to say that I really have a preference either way. I kind of feel like I do. Like I'd rather just have the big open space. But when I got that Coach Molly tote, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the denim color, that was my first tote that had that center zip, at least that I can remember. And I honestly liked the way that I was able to organize my things. I liked how I was able to put things on each side. And when I picked something up, something wasn't falling over like it normally does. If I put my items in a bag and they're not taking up the entire space of the bag. When I move something, something else moves. I don't care for organizers. I know that's an easy fix, but that's just not my cup of tea. It takes up real estate and I don't really care for that. 
Um, but I did notice with the center pocket, you are able to kind of put things in. And then on the other side, you're able to put things in and they have a pretty good space. Um, and they're able to move around without falling all the way over. So I kind of like the center zip. Now, honestly, I don't really be knowing what to put in it <laughs> because I don't really carry skinny things or slim things that often. And when I do, they're usually in a pouch. Um, but I am learning to use the slip pockets that come in some of the bags more often. I'm used to just having that one zipper pocket and not having the slip pockets. Um, or even when I have them, I don't really use them. So I'm getting more accustomed to putting more things in there. As you can see in my Coach Sutton, the last what's in my bag that I did, you guys noticed I had some of the pouches that are normally inside of another pouch. I had them in there. So I think I will be able to use this well. So far, I've moved from 80% to 90% sure that I'm going to keep this. And I think this is called the Nelly Tote. Let me see. Yes, this is the Nelly Tote. And let me make sure I cover this address because it's not even mine, it's my sister's. But I will show you guys, I got her on sale for $135.85, so it's great, great price. Um, definitely a steal. I don't remember exactly what I paid for her, but I'm pretty sure she was like $160, $180. So the tote is actually cheaper and it's actually larger. Um, let me see, can you see those two good? The tote is actually larger. She's not sitting pretty because she's folded in the back. She's still trying to fold herself back up. Um, but the tote is actually larger and it holds more, which is, <laughs> she go falling over, which is good for me because that is another con that I had um with Sabrina is even though she's a good size I still had to downsize in her like even the way that I packed my coach Sutton I can't necessarily pack the Brenna that way because she does have a smaller footprint on the inside at least it feels that way to me I don't I don't know but um I wanted to show you guys the SLGs that I do have to go with it I do have the um I don't remember exactly what this is called because I was new to Dooney at the time I got it, but this is a wristlet. It did come with a um, strap. I took it off. I use it essentially as any type of extra catch-all. So generally the way that I used it um, before is just kind of as my lady pouch. I don't think it's as girthy or as big as the Coach Corner zip wristlet that I prefer to use with um, my bags as my lady pouch, but that's essentially what I use. And I got the blue just to kind of bring in more color. And then I also have, oh, you know what? I think I forgot to grab the uh, the coin purse. I also have the coin purse in the cream print and then I have the continental wallet as well. So this is the large size wallet, but it's very flat. It's very compact. Even when your stuff is in it, it doesn't get very pregnant, which I love. And then it does have the zipper pocket on the back. I wish it had the braided pull, um, you know, so it kind of looks like this or like this one, but you know, you can't always get what you want, but I do think that these accessories look very nice with the hydrangea um, bags in addition to other bags. Like you could easily use this with a cream bag, a blue bag, a pink bag. Hell, you can use this in a black bag if you want. I wish somebody would check me about my setup, but in key ways, um, I think I'm definitely going to keep the tote. So if anybody's been drooling over Miss Brenna and you're interested, um, you definitely can comment down below, but comments rack up very fast and I have a hard time keeping up with them and life, um, some weeks. So I would definitely say to message me on Instagram, we can chat back and forth. Like I said, you can save that additional price that I would need to charge to place it on Macari, um, to try and break even. I think I only carry this bag probably about a week. She has absolutely no wear and tear. I do not see any scratches or any damage whatsoever to the feet. Um, again, I work from home, so my bags don't generally get a whole lot of out the house usage anyway. So she is honestly in excellent condition. Condition. Can I talk? She has the zipper pocket in the back. She has the slip pocket. She has the key keeper, just like all the Dooney bags do. As you can see, the inside is that pretty cream canvas. And then you have your two slip pockets. One is a little smaller, one is a little larger. And then of course you have those large side pockets. One of them has show it one of them has the little credit card slot and then one of them is just um the big open pocket so if you're watching this video you're probably already familiar with the Brenna anyway I don't own a Barlow but from the videos wait a minute oh I'm tripping they both have the little credit card slot or whatever kind of pocket you want to call it I did not realize that so this one has great organization it really does 
and I, I like it. I really do. But when I'm carrying it and when I'm in it, I have cons and those cons have placed her on the shelf and kind of, you know, made me not carry her, you know, as often as I could. Like we are well into July push in August and she did, should have definitely come out in the spring and got lots of play, but she didn't because she's heavy and she doesn't even hold all my things the way that I would like to hold my things. Now I have changed how I hold my things and what pouches I use and what I group together. So it may work better this time. I may pack her up just to make sure I'm okay with letting her go. But I really think the tote is just gonna fit my lifestyle better. It's gonna fit the way that I like to carry my bags um, and where I put them. I mean, I'm not a small person, but um, you know, I, I have a, I have a slim profile, I have a slim frame and she sticks out, um, a lot further than I would like when she is on my arm. So we shall see, but pretty sure she is going on the chopping block. I will definitely have that on the screen with my final thoughts and decision. Cause of course it will be made by the time this is edited and uploaded. Um, I will have more details, um, like the price and everything down in the description. So you can make sure you're comfortable with that. Um, prior to him sending me a message on Instagram. And like I said, just hit me up on Instagram. We can chit chat. We can go back and forth a little bit and negotiate a little bit. Um, I gotta see if I can even find my receipt. I'm not trying to break the bank or break nobody's back. Um, but like I said, she's in excellent use condition. I think I carried her that one time for about a week, maybe two weeks and that's it. So she is a very, very nice, pristine bag. Um, and so I would just like to get back what I paid. Nothing more, you know, nothing less, no biggie. So anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have either of these bags or if you've had a thought like I'm having with picking between one silhouette and the other, please tell me your thoughts down below. Um, if you were in this exact same boat as me, definitely hit me up, probably even on Instagram so we can chat a little faster. Um, and just tell me your thoughts, which one you chose and why. Um, and you know, what you think about when I'm thinking of as far as, you know, feeling like the tote is just a better fit for me. So anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, I forgot to grab the coin case, but I do have the cream, um, hydrangea print coin case as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.